Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Manas Tutorial. In previous video, we were discuss about the cells of immune system, which is the cells which is related to our immune system, such as the natural cells, B cells, T cells, macrophages, dendritic cells, and many other cells. Now, in this video, we will mainly concentrate about the organs which are related to our immune system. On the basis of function, the organs of immune system are divided into mainly two classes. The first one is a primary lymphoid organ, and the second one is a secondary lymphoid organ. Now, first we discuss about the primary lymphoid organ in this video, and in the next video we will discuss about the secondary lymphoid organ. So. The primary lymphoid organ is an organ in which the cell develops, matures, and proliferates. By the process of hematopoiesis, the cell develops and it gains its antigenic specificity. After the antigenic specificity, the cells are known as a immunocompetent cell. Now, the system of immunocompetent cell is a, a cell whose capability to mount an immune response. Now, these cells are known as a immunocompetent cell. The primary lymphoid organs are divided into two categories, or they are composed of two organs, which are the first one is a thymus. And second one is a bone marrow. In this video, we will discuss about thymus and bone marrow. Now, the secondary lymphoid organ. The secondary lymphoid organs are the organs which uh, helps in a countering the cells of immune system to antigen. Now, these organs are spleen. lymph node and other associated tissues such as malt means mucosal associated lymphoid tissue and cart CART cutaneous associated lymphoid tissue these organs are in a secondary lymphoid organ now we will discuss about the primary lymphoid organ. Now we discuss about the primary lymphoid organ which is known as the thymus. The thymus is also known as a, a training school for T cell where T cell develops, mature and proliferate. Now this is the structure of the uh, thym uh, thymus. Now these thymus is a flat bilobar organ which is situated just above the heart. These thymus are surrounded by a capsule and these capsules are divided into lobules. And these lobules are separated by a connective tissue which is known as a trapulum. These are the connective tissue which separate lobules. Now, the each lobules are further divided into two regions. The outer region which is known as a cortex and the inner region which is known as a medulla. Now, in the cortex region, there is a large number of thymocytes. Thymocytes are the immature T cells. There is a large number of thymocytes while in a medullary, the number of thymocytes are less. Along with these thymocytes, there are some cells which have extra membrane extension. And around these extra membrane extension, around 50, 40 to 50 thymocytes are there. And these cells are known as a nurse cell. These nurse cell and the thymocytes they form complex in this region. Now, in the medullary region, there is a less number of thymocytes. The 
the cortex region and medulla region are crisscrossed by a three dimensional stromal cell network which consists of dendritic cell these macrophages and some epi Clear cells. Now, this is all about the structure of the thymus. Thymus gives a specialized environment in which the immature thymocytes bear a unique receptor, which is known as a T cell receptor. Now, these T cell receptor then selected by a self reactivity or reactivity with self MHC peptide complex in the stomach cell and then around which uh, which does not show the self reactivity they are released or they are dying because of apoptosis now after maturation how it occur the cells which are selected for mature mature maturation how they mature so first the cells to the vessel blood vessel enters into the thymus these cell does not bear any marker neither cd8 nor cd4 so these are cell these cells are known as a double negative cells means dn cell now these double negative cells means they does not bear any marker neither cd4 nor cd8 now in the thymus it develops the receptor and the marker both the marker cd4 and cd8 which is known as then the cells are known as a double positive cells means they bear both the cells both the markers cd4 as well as cd8 after maturation in the thymus one of the uh, markers is specialized and cell becomes a single marker cell and these cells are known as a sp means single marker which contain single cells single marker either cd4 or cd8 then these cells are known as a mature t cell these mature cells enter into the blood vessel and goes to the site of infection so this is all about the t cells or maturation of t cells now the similar process the second one is a bone marrow the second part is known as a bone marrow now the bone marrow is a site of uh, development of b cell in mouse humans similarly or in uh, almost all the animals but in the bird in the birds the uh, the b cell mature mature in a uh, another cell which is known as a brusa fabricus brusa fabricus now the process of maturation is similar the cells are hematopoietic then they will in, in bone marrow they give markers and they becomes a mature b cells these b cells which are self reactive to the uh, our cells is killed by apoptosis and the, then the mature b cells are released which synthesize uh, antibodies plasma cells memory cells vector cells and kill the antigen so this is all about the primary lymphoid organ which consists of bone marrow and the thymus in next video we will discuss about the secondary lymphoid organ such as spleen lymph node mild mucosal mucosal associated lymphoid tissue and cart so thanks for watching if you if you like my videos then subscribe to my channel and share with me thank you